Hello, my friends. My name is Joey. And if you like our content, please remember to subscribe and click that notification bell. Today, we're going to be making these colorful seed filled paper hearts for your spring garden. It's going to be super fun to make these seed bombs and we're going to be helping the bees. Today, you can follow along with my good friend Amy or Amazing Amy as I like to call her and learn how to make these amazing wildflower seed bombs mostly from things that you probably already have at home. Grab your wildflower seeds, some colored paper, and some water, and let's get started. Have fun, everyone. Hello, everyone. My name is Amazing Amy, and today we are going to learn all about wildflowers and making something called a seed bomb. Wildflowers are flowers that grow in the wild and grow naturally in a particular area. We can also get wildflower seeds in a package, which comes from plants that grow in the wild. You might find wildflowers in a meadow, a field, near a river or lake, or even up in the mountains. Most wildflowers are great for bees, butterflies, and other insects called pollinators. A pollinator is anything that carries pollen from one plant to another. When this happens, new plants grow. Today, we are going to make a seed bomb filled with wildflower seeds that can go anywhere in nature. To start, you will need wildflower seeds that are bee-friendly, scissors, paper towel or a cloth, tissue paper of lots of different colors, a silicone mold to hold our shape, a large bowl or jar, a strainer or something called a sieve, and of course, water. Once you have all of these materials, you are ready to start. Let's go. Begin by cutting up all of the tissue paper into smaller pieces. I like to cut the tissue paper into rows like this and then into tinier pieces right into my bowl. The smaller the pieces, the better. Cut one color at a time. I like to stack all my paper together to make it faster to cut. When choosing the colors for your seed bomb, choose colors close to each other on the color wheel. These colors look great together, and when they mix, they make beautiful new colors. Keep cutting the other colors and putting all the tiny pieces into the bowl. Then mix them all together using your hands. Add water into your bowl and mix it together. Add a small amount of water to start, and if you need more, add more. You can use warm to hot water too to help the paper break down faster. Next, let your paper and water mixture soak until the tissue paper is really soft. While we wait, we can learn about seed bombs. A seed bomb is a beautiful way to help reseed natural plants like wildflowers to wild areas. Seed bombs were first invented by people who called themselves gorilla gardeners. A gorilla gardener is someone who loves plants and wild spaces. These kinds of gardeners like to add wild plants to areas of land that may not look so wild anymore and needs more plants. Gorilla gardeners found that planting individual flower seeds took way too long, so they invented a new way to plant seeds. Take a ball of wet paper or mud, mix in wildflower seeds, and throw it into a place that needs more plants. When the ball hits the ground, it would split into many pieces, spreading the seeds all around. Then the seed bomb was born. We can spread seeds just like Gorilla Gardeners too, but first we need to finish our seed bombs. Once the paper has soaked, you can mush it up using your hands. The tissue paper will be softer, and once you squish it, it will turn into something called paper pulp. Put your paper pulp into a small jar. We are going to strain all the water out of the paper pulp by placing a sieve, like this, or strainer, over top of the larger jar or bowl. Squeeze the pulp with your hands to get as much water out as you can. With the pulp still in the sieve, pour some wildflower seeds into your hands and add them into the colored pulp. Mix them together with your hands. If you don't have a strainer, 
You can also just squeeze it with your hands as much as you can and put it into another bowl to add seeds. Add a pinch of your seed paper pulp to one of the heart molds and press it down. Add more if you need until it is filled to the top. Keep filling the molds until all your paper pulp is gone. Make sure there are lots of seeds in each little heart. After all the shapes are filled, go back and press them again. Then take some paper towel or a cloth and press each heart to dry them off slightly. Then we will let them sit to dry. Once they are almost dry, we will pop them out of the molds. Now that the heart seed bombs are dry, you can pop them out by pressing lightly on the back of the mold and using your fingers to gently grab them. Silicone molds work best for this part. The drier they are, the more the shape will stay together when you take it out. If they break while removing them, no big deal. You can still use them to plant seeds. You can also leave the other ones a little while longer before removing the mold if they're too wet. The best time to throw your seed bombs into nature is when your seed bombs are damp. That means that they aren't dry and they aren't really wet. They're kind of in between. If they are dry, before you are ready, add a little bit of water. Then your seed bombs are ready to throw into a wild space. You can also plant them in your yard if you'd like. Nice work! By making this seed bomb, you are helping out our bee friends. Bye for now and I will see you in another art tutorial.